Well, it's uh, pretty huge. Uh, it's a big, big building. You could spend a couple of days really looking around and not, still not see everything. Some people describe it as a little overwhelming, but a wonderful overwhelming. Their eyes get big and they're like, wow, they're surprised how big it is if they've never been here before. The store is the size of one and a half football fields and you're just surrounded by Christmas. I love Bronner. It has everything you can imagine. It's impossible to not find anything here. Commonly you get questions like, oh gosh, does Christmas music drive you nuts? Do you guys just hate Christmas? And no, it's the total opposite. It is my favorite holiday by far. My father started Bronner's in 1945. It actually was kind of like an accidental thing. Uh, he was a window trimmer and he was also a sign painter at the time. He was in Bay City, Michigan doing a display window for uh, Jenison's hardware store. And while he was decorating the windows, some uh, city officials from the city of Clare, Michigan came into the hardware store and then they were asking the staff at the hardware store, hey, we'd like to buy some of the decorations like you have out in the window. And they said, well, we don't sell Christmas decorations. Go talk to the guy trimming the window. The next year, Claire came back and wanted a repeat order. They enjoyed them so much. So I thought, well, maybe there's a market for something like this. The commercial end of the business uh, started growing. And then as the groups from these various cities and businesses would get together to discuss what they wanted for their city decorations. A lot of their wives would come along and they say, don't you have any decorations for the home? And at that time he didn't, but he said, well, we will get some. We started right here in Frankenmuth. We used to be in three stores more in the middle of town. And then we had outgrown all those stores. And in June of 1977, we moved to this current location. We uh, built our first building here and, and it we thought that's going to be way too big. Are we ever going to be able to fill it up? And it wasn't more than a couple of years we had to build on. He never in his wildest dreams would have imagined that it would grow to the world's largest Christmas store through the years. It brought him so much joy to see that happen in the growth and spreading the Christmas cheer. In 1992, we built our Silent Night Chapel. We wanted to do something to thank God for all the blessings that he has given us in our business. Birth of Christ is what Christmas is all about, and that's always been the main focus of our business. Um, that's the reason for the season. The Bronner's business is actually five different businesses. There's the catalog. We mail out over three million catalogs each year. There's the store that you see here and also our commercial division. We have 250 employees, full-time and part-time, that work year-round, and in the busy season, we have 750 employees. About two million people visit Browners each year. Basically, every month we have people from all 50 states and many, many different countries, too. We come here every year. Yep, they come to visit Santa Claus every year, and we shop here for our Christmas tree. The personalized items are very popular. There's many items um, that you can have your names put on with ornaments or stockings and that type of thing. Wally started personalizing ornaments back in the 60s. They had a party for the families of the staff and he would personalize the ornaments for the children. And people said, why don't you start offering those in the store? My name is Mason Lewis and I work here at Bronner's as a penner. I means that I will get ornaments like this and I will use an acrylic paint pen to personalize them with a name or maybe a small message to a loved one. And I average between 14 to 17,000 a year just myself. I have three kids so they all get their first ornaments here. We bought a cool one for our first grand dog last year. We have a design team and then we come up with a lot of different ideas. Um, some, many come from our customers, different ones for travel and sports, a lot of religious ones, um, you know, weddings, anniversaries, babies, pets, occupations, hobbies, all kinds of things. Well, I'm Shannon McGinnis. I'm a product development coordinator. And so basically what I do is mostly ornament designs. Bronner's has been doing their own designs since about 1960. Um, the originator, Wally Bronner, he did a lot of the initial designs. My father, when he was early in the years of the business, shopping at the different trade shows and that, there were not a lot of religious uh, designs available. And so he started, you know, 
trying to produce a few different religious ones. He was, he was very creative, he was an artist, and so he worked with a lot of European companies to try to start these, uh, these exclusive designs for Bronner's, and we're very proud to continue his, his work. One thing that Wally used to say was, what we wanted to accomplish here was to help people decorate their hearts and their homes for Christmas. It doesn't cost anything to decorate your heart for Christmas, and he used to say, it doesn't cost anything to get into Bronner's, and what it costs to get out is to, up to you. Well, it gives you the spirit of the holiday when you come here. It reminds you, I think, me, of what Christmas is all about. Our motto is enjoy Christmas. It's his birthday. Enjoy life. It's his way. You can feel the joy in the spirit of Christmas and then go home and love it in their own lives.